the Southern Illinois coal mines. And uh, I was getting everything ready and I was just down here casting before we actually launched the canoe and was just testing my line out and the lure and just kind of getting a feel for the lake before we put the canoe in and I already caught a walleye. Hadn't even been here two minutes. They stock walleye in the strip pit and it is a, he's a little guy, but hey, this is a good sign. This is the lake I told you guys about that 87% of the crappie are 11 inches or bigger. It has hybrid crappie. It has white bass, it has walleye, it has flatheads, red ear, warm mouth, large mouth bass. So you talk about a variety. Anyway, first walleye of the day. It's a good windy cloudy day. The only problem is uh, I'm going to have to anchor a lot. I caught him on a bomber, black and white, crankbait, because I'm actually fishing for crappie more than I was walleye. But uh, now, I'm just going to keep <laughs> Fishing for whatever, whatever hits this thing, that's a good sign. I'm just gonna leave this lure on probably the whole day. I know the big 13, 14 inch crop, you'll hit it as well. Wow! That's awesome! I know it's one thing as well. Pulling this crankbait through this lake, it has lots of hydrilla that comes up from the bottom. And when I had, when that fish bit it, I actually thought it was stuck on the weeds because I've several casts I've pulled in uh, large clumps of hydrilla and I thought I was hung a little bit on some of that moss and I realized it was a walleye when I seen the white tip of the tail. <laughs> now all I just need to do is get about a seven or eight pounder. I don't know what size they get up to in here but that's a good sign and uh, I might eventually catch a white bass too. Largemouth that are in here. It's already a sign that I, it's a promising lake. Really promising. If I caught him without him being out in the canoe yet, that's a really good sign. Here's what I was mentioning: you pull you, your crankbait goes through these hydrilla. I may be better off later on with a, a soft plastic. I got one. Yes. It's another walleye. It's bigger though. Yes. That's what it is. It's a walleye. It's a nice one. It might be my biggest one this year. Oh yeah. He's a nice one. Oh, it's a large mouth. Yeah. Hey, yeah. That's cool. It's something different. He's a good three pounder. Look at that about 18 inches, 17, 18 inches. I'm gonna bring him around where I can lip it. Here, hold my pole for me. I'll lip him. Don't pull up on it, just leave it right where you got it. All right. Well, I thought that was a walleye, I was pumped up. But that's all right, it's something different. Mm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to go up and get the pliers. Yeah, here I'll go get the pliers. All right, folks, not a bad largemouth. See, we don't need to change our lures. It works better than anything in here. Crankbaits is what is the answer. He's about two and a half pounds. Unfortunately, I can't get the hook out on my own pliers here. I'm getting ready to launch the canoe. We were just kind of testing it out from the bank. And I have to say, I'm not disappointed one bit. I caught a walleye and a largemouth already just from one spot. So, it's a good sign. We're going to have a good day and we'll eventually get some nice crappie and white bass. I think there's even smallmouth in here. There's hybrid crappie. I came here mainly for walleye and big crappie. 
I'm gonna put him back. They have a protected slot in this lake, which I'm not keeping anything anyway, but the protected slot, you can't keep anything between 14 and 18. I believe that's what it says right here. Large or smallmouth bass, protected slot 14 to 18, no possession. One fish over 18 and five fish under 14. White, black, or hybrid crappie, blue, or red, or sunfish. Channel catfish. And that ain't even all the fish that's in here. They just don't advertise it. Advertise it, but there is walleye in here. As you can see, I just caught one. And they just stocked white bass in it recently, too. There may even be hybrid stripers and yellow bass. And some of these lakes have pike. I'm not sure about this one, but the odds of catching one are pretty slim, but uh, they are present in some of these lakes as well. So. All right. It's off to a good start though. Really good start. A lot of the times when I'm getting these bites is when I'm pulling my crankbait to get, get it unhooked from the hydrilla. And the fish sees that from 20 or 30 feet away and then they come after it. So sometimes this hydrilla can be an advantage uh, if you know how to fish it. It sucks because every three or four casts you got to sit there and pull it off your lure. But it does have its advantages. We launched. Now I'm going to paddle around. Look for, there's a cove I've been eyeballing with the satellite views not it's a giant lake you ain't even seen you're just seeing the very edge of it this is just a cove it's probably 50 to 100 acres I'm not sure how many 70 70 something at least. I guess I want to go through there. She's got something here. I don't even feel nothing. You ain't got nothing. Uh, I think I don't. Yep, he got off. No, wait a minute. There? Yeah, you got a fish. You. I'm helping. Oh, it's a nice one. I'm just letting him tire out. You got the anchor rope. No, there's a fish on it. It's, there's a fish, but it's in the anchor rope too. You got a large mouth he's he's snagged on the anchor hold on it's hooked on the rope right on the dang end dang it it's gonna have to go around give me you're gonna have to give me the pole or go around the end get your line to come over here Yeah, you got a bass. Your, your... That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna have to get the pliers. The pliers are in front of the cooler. They're, are they inside? Oh, he got off. Shit. Damn. I still need the pliers. Really yeah, that was a nice bass. Yeah, they're in there. Get hung up on the anchor. Look the fish first instead of the lure. Or I mean the instead of the anchor. Nice one. He's nine inches. Yeah. Let me zoom in on him. Hold on. Zoom in. Walleye, bass, and now a crappie here at the strip mines. Reason crankbait. 
baits as of right now. It's been a lot of trouble finding the fish, but we found a cove that goes in and we're fishing the end of the cove where it meets the main lake. There's some points and drop-offs in here that we can't see. This is the type of lake you almost need a fish finder on, a real boat and a fish finder be able to locate the fish is very difficult. It's not a bad one. I just had a bite. The crappie are right out there. and then a bluegill and then would have had two largemouth if it wouldn't have got hung up on the anchor line. I almost had him in my hand but he got away. It's not a bad bluegill. So there is something out right here in front of us, a drop off or something. center and go about midway or maybe not even that far I got my second large mouth. I actually thought this was a walleye until the very end because this guy didn't come up and jump like most bass do. He stayed down the whole time. It's like he's pulling straight down, kind of stayed. He never come up and shook his head like bass normally do. here. God. These hooks are in him too good. Not a small one, not a big one. He is kind of small. He's only about 12 or 13 inches. I thought for sure that was a dang walleye. I was 80% sure.
Isn't that what it says? Well, I remember it from the thing they sent me. I don't know what that says. reads on it. Not be this. after about an hour with no fish folks feels nice and it is a walleye my second walleye of the day about the same size oh it's a really stunted one only about 14 inches once again on the bomber black and white bomber model a we haven't really done that great in here like we thought we would, but now I've caught two walleye, two large mouth. They're small, well at least the two I've caught are. They put 2,900 of these in here every year for the last 10 years. So surely there's something bigger. This thing's only about 13 inches. And uh, both, or both of the ones I caught are, the other one was about an inch or two bigger than this one. But it is a walleye, so I ain't gonna complain. Look, hun. Yeah. <laughs> See if I can get another one over there. It just seems like we only catch a fish once an hour here. Since we've been here, it's about once an hour. That must have been the same one I just had on. I told you I did. I had a bite. That was him. Luckily he bit it twice. I did get the did get my goal. That's why I came here is to catch walleye. I'm happy with whatever size. It's just nice to get something. Got it. Yes. Oh, this is a nicer one. I think. Yeah, he's bigger. Oh, shit. Oh. Whoa, whoa this has got to be a bass. I don't think it's a walleye. Oh, my God. This is like five or six pounds. If this is a walleye, this is my biggest one ever. Yeah, I'm serious. Well, what's making me think it's not a bass is it's not coming to the top. A bass would have jumped by now. See, we're on that fish attractor. That's why I've caught two fish over here. You know what this is starting to feel like? You want to see if I can guess it right? What was that? It was a bass. I was going to say a drum. Yes. God, is that what it was? You seen green? Man, that thing was, was he about five or six pounds? That's what it felt like. My God, it was big. God, he screwed my drag all up. That was not a little one. God, I was starting to think it was a big drum. Maybe it was a bass. Gosh. Why ain't they jumping? That's strange. That would have been the biggest fish of the day, for sure. I don't know how big, but he felt like it was five or six pounds. My God, I had him on that long and then he gets off. That don't make no sense. coming to 
jump again. About three and a half pounds, decent. He was right on the bank. He was right against that bank. He hit it as soon as it hit the water, like a top water. Nice bass there. See, none of these are spotted bass. Spotted bass only live in rivers. These are real large mouths. Last one I had, he was bigger than this and he got off after I had him hooked for over 30, 40 seconds. And uh, thank God I finally, this made my day right here. It's a nice bass. It's not huge by any means, but it's, uh, it's decent, good quality. Large mouse out of here. Yeah. So it ended up not being a terrible trip. It is that we only averaged about one fish an hour. We caught three bass, two walleye, and one crappie. And we fished about six hours. So. That helps. He was right there. not a bad lake it's just you have to you'd have to be there when they're really all biting when they're not in the mood that they're biting but they're not it's, it's just it's hard to find them too Sunset. Yeah, 